Every athlete has a story, and you're about to hear Alexis Matthews' story. She's a Michigan State volleyball player who kept getting better at her sport, to the point where she was one of only 25 top college players selected to a USA volleyball training session. But Alexis wouldn't be where she is were it not for the strength of her family. And that's the real story for her. Kara Lentz gives us a chance to meet a Big Ten athlete up close and personal. As we're trying to be learners, we coaches, we're going to be booting up some glasses that actually track where our pupils go. New Year's Eve, I got the call from him and he said like, hey, we'd love you to come out and train with us. Like, you know, we'd love to see what you've got. That was cool, like, first of all, because, like, you know, oh, my God, I just talked to Karch Karai on the phone, you know? <laughs> We're trying to promote the most improvement, the most growth, the most learning in these eight weeks and teach them a lot about how USA plays women's volleyball. Nice. Wow, that's an extension there. Okay. My coach, like, uses this a lot, like, play for the little girl that, you know, first picked up a volleyball. I just find it funny because I wasn't anywhere near a little girl when that happened. Um. <laughs> Growing up in Detroit, Michigan, Alexis Matthews appeared destined for anything but an athletic career. Her first athletic venture was t-ball. Her first game, the ball fell off the tee and she picked the ball up and she put it up on the tee like it was the most disgusting thing on earth. For her to be um, become this volleyball athletic prowess that she has, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And we just feel blessed. We never, ever, ever saw it coming, ever. Michigan State Volleyball head coach Kathy George did. I saw her at nationals in her junior year. I just kept looking at Alexis and looking at the athleticism, athleticism she had and saying, you know what, I think this kid can be something special. She um, didn't have the opportunity to get into all the gyms that all these other kids had had, so she you know, was at home. Alexis didn't play volleyball competitively until age 14, and her volleyball growth was further stunted when her mother, Andrea, gave birth to premature twins in 2006 during Alexis's sophomore year of high school. They came at 24 weeks and two days. We'd never seen babies that small. They were literally a pound a piece, one pound four ounces for him and one pound five ounces for her. So you imagine when you hear people say, oh, they were just as big as my hand. They literally were no bigger than my hand. You're used to hearing babies cry. Yeah. When they're, when they're born, you know, and being able to hold them and see them. And they just took them and whisked them, them away. And it was just, it was real scary not knowing what may happen or if they would survive because you didn't know. The twins, Wendell and Dolores, were placed in the intensive care unit. Sadly, three days later, Dolores passed away from extreme prematurity. We had to tell them that Dolores had passed. And um, as a mom, there's nothing you could ever imagine. Her death was so unexpected. I think that's like what soured it even more for everyone. Wendell remained in the hospital for nine more months, and his parents spent 12 to 18 hours a day by his side. During that time, 16-year-old Alexis took time away from school and volleyball to care for her two other siblings. With that time, we didn't have any worries because we knew that she was just going to do what she normally does, you know, just be Alexis. Wendell's condition improved, and nine months after Dolores passed, he returned home. Alexis, now a junior, resumed playing volleyball and went on to earn a full scholarship to play at Michigan State. We had to take a risk, and we had to say, is she capable of learning? Can she get better? And, and can we really uh, tap into all the athleticism that she has and, and give her a chance to kind of become something she probably never dreamt she could become? 
this past season. Alexis guided Michigan State to one of their most successful campaigns in recent history, defeating a number one ranked team for the first time ever. Blocked at the net, and Michigan State will leave Red Hall with the victory. Alexis's siblings, the ones she dutifully watched while her brother Wendell battled for his life, had the chance to return the favor, attending many games during Alexis's senior year, including her final one in East Lansing. Even in like my fifth year, I'm still just like, wow, really? We do all that, you know? <laughs> yeah! What God has put into her. He put something in our lives, he took something away, and now we're getting back and reaping what we never could have imagined, ever, ever, ever could have imagined. And it is a joy and a privilege to be here at this stage with her.